Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So here we are, uh, we will try to see about the React fragment in this video. So React fragment, where we can use this one is exactly. For example, let's say that here we are having some data, right? Uh, I will try to add the code here, okay? Uh, please select the pizza oh sorry please select the pizza from the list this is the text i am trying to add it so here if you try to see at here we are able to see this one right so please select the pizza from the list so this is the paragraph element which i am trying to give now let's add some css to this one so for this one what i will do is in the menu greater than p so which directly belongs to the greater than p now i want to apply some css to this one i will increase the font size font size to 1.5 rem and i will give text align sorry text align center and line height i can give something like 1.6 and the last one is width is of 80 percent that's it so let's yeah we are able to see this one select please select the pizza from the list now here actually the problem comes where actually the problem comes is now when the pizzas are empty okay when there is when there are no pizzas then what could be the output here so all the pizzas will be gone but here we are still showing the message that please select the pizza from the list this should not be there right the text doesn't make any sense so we need to remove the text also when there is when there are no pizzas available so for that reason what i can do is so we need to add this text inside the condition that is nothing but num pizzas greater than zero when the pizzas are there means then only we need to show this text so we can add here in this one but immediately the react js or the jsx uh, is shouting on us that adjacent jsx elements must be wrapped in an enclosing tag so that means so you do you cannot return two elements two elements at a time so you need to return only one parent element or one root element so what can we do so for for overcoming this this type of issue what we have did is so we have wrapped this one inside a div now this works fine right this works fine now let's try to see the output for this one so if you try to see the output now here the entire design has gone why because actually if you try to see the inspect element for this one we don't want to we we don't we don't expect this type of behavior why because so here in this menu we have an h2 so there should be no parent element in the div here the p should be a direct parent, uh, child element to the menu not for the div element so we don't want this extra div element wrapped inside this one so how can we overcome this one how can we overcome this type of problem so luckily we have a concept in the react js that is react fragment so what can we do is we can wrap it with an empty here okay so there is no need for us to give like this so we can wrap it with an empty like this now if you see here the same output we are able to get in the previous one but if you try to see here in our menu the paragraph element is direct child to the parent so that is the reason we have written the css like this menu menu greater than p greater than p means it should be a direct children to the menu now here so we have seen this one so if you know if you want to know more about the selectors and all those things i have already uh, did the videos on the selector css selectors you can go and check, check in my css playlist now the index.js thing so we have seen this one directly by using this react fragment so this is a shorthand notation we can implement this one now another thing what i want to tell you is for example let's say that when you want to use the same react fragment in a looping like a pizza.map we are doing it right so whenever you want to have an uh, two adjacent elements like this means then we need to use react dot fragment okay so this is a full hand version and that one is a shorthand version which we are trying to use it and here we will be using react dot fragment and you can apply the key here when you are looping so right now we don't have any key or something like that so we can remove this uh, like this and we can use the shorthand notation this one so this is how the react fragment will be very useful for us in order to not to have an adjacent parent element or something like that so now we have finished this one now the next concept what we will try to do is for example let's say that uh, we will apply a sold out thing so now we are we are not showing the sold out right 
so now we need to show the sold out uh, thing for example let's say that we are having a pizza right so i will remove this uh, uh, what i can say is that condition now the sold out pizza also we will be able to see so this is a sold out pizza actually i need to show that sold out pizza sold out pizza so here we are having the price right so here i can write something like pizza object dot sold out if it is there means then i need to oh sorry i need to show that it is a sold out okay i will show it in a like this or otherwise you can show the price so i have added conditional like this so now if you try to see here we are able to see a sold out now i need to differentiate this one with the remaining pizza so sold out pizza i need to differentiate this pizza how can i do this one is in the index.css let's try to add a, add the add css so dot pizza dot sold out okay sold out so pizza which is having a sold out not cold out sold out i will apply a color of hash 888 okay and the image also we will try to change it dot pizza or otherwise uh, let's, let's see so now whenever you apply a for a pizza the sold out class sold out class then if you try to see here so everything the color has changed so we will try to change the color of this image also we can change the color of this image also using the css so now here the pizza which sorry pizza which is having a sold out which is having a sold out and inside that one image i want to apply a filter so not fill filter gray scale for the image i want to apply gray scale and i will apply opacity of 0.8 okay and here we need to add a semicolon yeah so now for the image also we are able to see a gray scale now for every pizza i don't want to apply this type of uh, design so only the pizza which has a sold out i need to apply design so that means i need to apply this class conditionally so i need to apply this class conditionally so how can i apply this class conditionally so let's try to i will try to show you how we can apply this one conditionally in the react js so here i am entering into a javascript mode why because i need to add a condition the class should be added conditionally so that is the reason i am entering into a javascript mode and here i am using a template literal so the first one we need to apply the class is the pizza and here again i am writing like this so this is a javascript notation only and inside this one we can write the javascript code for in the template literal so now if you are having a pizza object dot sold out if it is there means then i need to apply a class that is nothing but sold out okay or otherwise i don't want to apply anything that's it so now this is the way we will be applying a conditional now here you will be able to see that a uh, sold out class has been applied to the sold out pizza now if you try to see here in this one inspect element if you observe carefully what will happen is so here a pizza sold out class has been applied to this only this pizza and remaining all pizzas empty space has been applied that is not a matter so we can uh, we can ignore that one so this this empty space is coming so we can, there is no need to worry about this one so now we we have successfully applied this sold out class to a particular pizza which has a price sold out so now we are able to apply this one so this is how we will be applying the classes conditionally in the pizza and also we have seen about the react fragment also the two concepts we have seen in our in our uh, app so now we, our app looks somewhat uh, fine right somewhat uh, somewhat uh, we can, now we have learned something about the react thing instead of learning the concepts and all the things directly we are learning the project uh, in the app itself hope you understood about this one i will try to commit this all the code in video iphone 16 create new branch video iphone 16 now i will commit this all the code so what we have learned react fragment so the main concept we have learned is the react fragment and i am committing this code you know i am publishing this branch so whoever may be having a doubts or anything so you can go to my react course so that is our the Re github repo link is provided in the description below of every video whatever the video you are trying to watch you can go to that particular video branch and you can refer the code which i am trying to explain it if you are finding any difficulty if you are stuck in a, in somewhere means so you can refer to my code which i am trying to explain it so hope you understood about this react fragment and also the applying ca classes conditionally if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you